Welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. I'm John. In this video, we're going to look at the button up here in the main toolbar, this one right here, a button that a lot of people ask about. Uh, actually, they don't even know about the button, but they need to know about it because they run into a problem where either it's working or it's not working. So what this button does is control whether the automation points move with your items. And to demonstrate this, I'm gonna need some automation. So let's just start there. I have this since part here. I'd like to do some automation like, let's say volume change and moving of filters. So on the track control panel, there's this button, usually says trim. This button gets you to all the automation settings for this track. You can left click it, it'll bring up all the parameters and access to your automation mode and the track envelopes. You can also right click it and there's kind of a condensed list. You can see the FX parameters like this. You can show the track envelopes, all these things. Uh, I use this to get to the automation mode. You can also use that menu when you have multiple tracks selected. It's a lot easier to do that than to do one at a time uh, through this other menu. Okay, and I'm going to bring up my plugin, which is PG8X. Let's move this here so we, I think we can see everything. So I'm going to move the track fader with my control surface, and I'm going to move the uh, cutoff frequency as this plays back. All right, so we got some automation recorded there, and I'm going to right-click this track and set it to read mode. So now those changes will play back. Let's go back to the plugin. All right, so I go play it back and it should be exactly the same. All right, and I'm just gonna manually adjust this automation a little bit because I want it to be a little bit different from that. So I've tweaked this automation. It's sounding good to me. If I want to move this automation, I need to make sure that this button here in the main toolbar is clicked. If I drag this item, the automation underneath is going to move along with it. When this button is active, the dragging to move the item also affects all the automation that's on this track. So every envelope below the item that belongs to this track moves with it. This also applies to copy and paste and also dragging to other tracks if the parameters are available. If I drag this up, the volume move moved along with it, but it's a different synth, so it doesn't have that cutoff frequency automation. So if we don't want that behavior, simply click this button on the main toolbar, this button right here, and now this item is independent from the tracks automation. So we can move it to other tracks, can move it left and right, and it's completely independent from the envelopes on the track. And the same for copy and paste. So this is very simple, but it's something that I see come up on the Facebook groups and on the forum every couple days. Either people have written automation and they want to know why when they're moving items around to other tracks, why it's copying with it, or they want to move the automation and it's not coming with it. So as you can see, this button, envelope points, move with media items button is very, very important and something that all Reaper users need to understand. One other thing to cover with this, when you're doing this on a folder track, you don't have any items here that you can drag around to move your automation. So let's just quickly draw in some automation. I'm just gonna do it with a mouse, right? So if we wanna move this somewhere else in the track, let's say we wanna move this automation over to here, we can copy and paste it, but if we wanna take advantage of kind of easier movement of automation like this, like what I showed you earlier, there's a trick. We can make a time selection on this track Right, and make sure that this track is selected, the folder track. So we go to the insert menu 
and go to empty item. So now there's this empty item here and we can drag that around to move our automation that belongs to the folder track. It's only going to be on this folder track. It's not going to do any automation of the tracks within the folder track, but it is one easy way that we can move the automation around or we can copy and paste and things like that. So I can go there, click paste, and now I've got that automation copied to another place, really simply on a folder track. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.